Today we will be learning how salt water taffy is made. We will need two cups of sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one cup of white corn syrup, two teaspoons of glycerin, three-fourths cup water, two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of flavoring, and three or four drops of food coloring. A large pot and wooden spoon, a bowl of warm water, and a basting brush. A candy thermometer, a measuring cup, a pair of scissors, ham, measuring spoons, plastic food wrap, and a cookie sheet. First, mix the sugar and the cornstarch into the pot. Next, mix the corn syrup, glycerin, water, butter, and salt into the pot. Each ingredient has a different purpose. The cornstarch gives the taffy its soft, smooth texture. The corn syrup is an interfering agent, meaning that it contains long chains of glucose molecules that keep the sucrose molecules from crystallizing. Butter is also an interfering agent. The proteins in milk interfere with the process of crystallization. Glycerin is a sweet, slippery, colorless liquid made from fats and oils that helps give the taffy its soft, creamy texture. Corn syrup, or glucose monohydrate, has the chemical formula C6H14O7. Corn syrup is the main ingredient in saltwater taffy. It is an interfering agent, meaning it contains long chains of glucose molecules that help keep the sucrose molecules from crystallizing. It is a natural sweetener that is made from cornstarch. It is used to soften texture, add volume, prevent crystallization of sugar, and enhance flavor. Corn syrup retains moisture to keep food fresh and is less expensive than sugar. It is often used as a substitute for sugar. Another form of corn syrup is high fructose corn syrup. This is a form of corn syrup often used in cooking, especially in candy. It is cheaper than sugar and is often used as a substitute. It is made from corn syrup by changing a large amount of its glucose into fructose using an enzyme called desilose isomerase. It is sweeter than normal corn syrup because it contains higher level of fructose. It is also more soluble. After all the ingredients are mixed in, bring the pot to the stove and place it over medium heat. Each ingredient has a different purpose. The cornstarch gives the taffy its soft, smooth texture. The corn syrup is an interfering agent, meaning that it contains long chains of glucose molecules that keep the sucrose molecules from crystallizing. Butter is also an interfering agent. The proteins in milk interfere with the process of crystallization. Glycerin is a sweet, slippery, colorless liquid made from fats and oils that helps give the taffy its soft, creamy texture. Glycerin, or glycerol, has the chemical formula C3H803. Glycerin is a sweet tasting viscous liquid that is made from fats and oils. It has many uses in cooking. It gives saltwater taffy its soft, creamy texture. It is used as a solvent and sweetener and is used to retain moisture in order to preserve food. It is also used as a filler in low fat foods and a thickening agent. It can also be used as a substitute for sugar and can be added to icing to keep it from setting up too hard. It is a carbohydrate that has a heating effect in the mouth. It is a solvent for both flavors and food coloring. It is also used in making mono and diglycerides, which are food stabilizers. Glycerin is produced when butter goes bad. It is about 60% as sweet as sucrose. It has many benefits, including that it does not raise blood sugar levels, it does not cause cavities because it does not feed the bacteria that causes them, and it has a low toxicity. Stir the mixture until it begins to boil. At this point, stirring may encourage the broken up sugar molecules, glucose and fructose, to reunite. Once the mixture begins to boil, use the basting brush and the warm water to clean off the sides of the pot. Wait for the syrup to reach 270 degrees Fahrenheit. The consistency of the candy depends on the amount of time and heat at which the mixture used to make the candy is boiled. Once the syrup reaches 270 degrees, remove it from the heat. At 
this time, you can grease the cookie sheet to prepare for the candy. Next, add the flavoring and the food coloring and stir. Once this is done, pour the candy syrup onto the cookie sheet. And now you're done! You have made saltwater taffy.